thank you for having us at your show. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for sharing a little bit of your fame with us. Well, a little bit. <laughs> like Peter Pan, think about sprinkle the dust up all the time. After you get up off the couch, I'm going to sit there and let it soak in. You'll enjoy it. The little magic. Yeah. Hope it's real warm. Um, so I don't know if they have the they have the clip queued up or not. Yeah. Do you have the, Did you tell them to do it? Did you give them instructions? Where, where is my only computer that I own? You know what? There's no AV in this room. I guess I gave it to a stranger. So. <laughs> Hey, you guys, our, uh, is our computer hooked up? Yeah? Can you put it up? You want to look at my desktop. Do we want to intro the clip? You want me to intro the clip? It's not my show. <laughs> okay, I'll, let me intro it. We have Mike on our show. featuring Mike. I was honored to be a part of it. You ready to do this? I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. Really? Yeah, we're just kind of showing up. But he's our friend. It's going to be great. You sure? We came all this way, you know? Like, it's, it's going to be totally fine. It does involve him, right? Right. Yeah. You know, it benefits him. No, you're right. Let's, let's, let's do it. Bring the camera through. You're not supposed to come to my house, right? This oh, is Chris show. No, this, yeah, this yeah, is our, this show. our show. This is my house. We, we, just, we just thought we'd drop in and, you know. Yeah, let's see if you thought we're wrong. I've told you like a hundred times I'm not going to be on your stupid show. All right? Your house is wow. It is. It's it's only big, big, actually. I've never been in your house. <laughs> That's really you guys haven't been here before. Uh, I guess you come in to the entryway. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Awesome. All right. Great. Whoa! What? No shoes. Shoes off. Oh, you're wearing shoes? Yeah, and I spent like a thousand bucks to have them treated so I can walk right outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to leave your shoes on my porch? <laughs> Not my problem. I bring dirty shoes to my house. I'm just kidding. It's just yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the shoes off. It made a difference. Mike's a good friend of ours. Uh, he's a successful friend of ours. Very successful. And uh, we just wanted to see if he would add a little star power, a little oof to the show, and maybe give us some advice on on what we could do to make it funnier. I mean, it's already it's already pretty funny. It's really funny. I mean, what we're doing is going to be really great. Oops. But it's like, we're already here. And then he wouldn't be like, what? What's this? Some icing. On the cake. No, no, no. It's more like another cake on top of this cake. <laughs> Come on, May as well have both. <laughs> so, I get the impression that you guys think you're my friends. Uh, oh, we kind of we kind of are friends. Yeah, are we're friends. friends, but not really though, right? Well, I mean, a little bit. You want to be my friend? Yeah. yeah. I say yeah. friend. So I think together there might be a friend in there. <laughs> I'm maybe looking at a friend. Because you, yeah. I forget your name. Thanks. <laughs> Sometimes like a clown is funny. I would laugh at someone who's doing something dumb. <laughs> or has dumb hair. But, I mean, we're not going to go to the club. You know, I'm not getting into a club with you hanging around. But this guy over here, you look good. You're pretty damn. Thank you. I would like to be seen with you. So you would hang around just Well, I mean, you would hang around me. You'd definitely be close. I mean, there's proximity there. So I'm just sort of just beside you, or maybe... maybe yeah, maybe a little bit behind. A little bit behind. So but it's like I but you. people look at you and me together, and they think, yeah. Right. I like that. Okay. This is your problem. You look good, but too much of this. <laughs> I don't know to turn it off. So you just want me to kind of 
just lay back. You're still doing it. Let, see? <laughs> You're just like, be an asshole, I can do that. <laughs> Easy. Your, your, your posture changed? Yeah. You immediately transformed. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, there's so much good in that episode. My favorite line from the whole episode, and I hope it makes it in, is we go to your boat, and I say, <laughs> what's the name of your boat? And you said, Microsoft presents Mike's fucking boat. <laughs> And I go, you sponsored your boat? And you go, yeah, it's called monetization. Like, I'm an idiot. Like, yes. I didn't know. Why don't you do that to your boat? Yeah. Why don't you do it to your boat? Yeah, you like, this is like the core of making me laugh, apparently. We were on your boat. That made me feel the best. Because I've made Scott laugh. I can make Scott laugh. Pretty regular, yeah. I can do that. But to make you laugh, I'm that's sure, like yes. my Everest. Oh, it is. It feels <laughs> so good. It feels so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell people the joke because I. So the joke was that we were doing menial stuff for him, and one of the things about cleaning his toilet, and he comes out of the toilet, and I said, "Say uh, that you murdered a man made out of shit." That's what it looks like down there, and you're like, "Okay, no problem." So we're cleaning them. We're cleaning the road. He comes out and he says, I'm not gonna lie to you, I look like I've murdered a man made out of sloppy joes down there. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you fucking changed it, I lost it. And I couldn't get it back. You couldn't get it back. It was, like, every time. it was like five takes and I could not get it back. Yeah. And also, it was like a new one every time after that. Yeah, once so I, I knew I could get you, myself. I was like, oh, he likes poop jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I got a million of those. <laughs> I came and I was like, it looks like somebody spilled a gallon of chili down there. <laughs> 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 looks like I committed a war crime down there. Seriously, I'm gonna go to, I might go to jail. <laughs> so strong. 
But then I, I thought you got a good bit at the end. They wanted to film like an after the credits thing, and they show you opening the door to the bathroom, and you go, "Oh, I think Mike only eats bacon." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the, that was the strongest of like three. Yeah, that no, was good. Great. I had a lot of fun. I, I appreciate you guys inviting me to be a part of that. We no, appreciate you doing it. <laughs> we love you. You're handsome, man. All right. <laughs> That's why I got the beard. Really? Because of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm keeping it with you. Actually, you know what? You, had, you guys did a strip a long time ago about how you couldn't grow the beard and, and take over the beard. Yeah. Okay, the strip's uh, not a real. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. A lot but of why it's not real. Why I got the fullest beard. You might I don't have to turn my mic off during beard talk. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say. Yeah, I have these beards. They're incredible. Let me touch your beard. I have a decent beard, but oh, I've actually told I've told my wife. Oils. Oh, it's really soft down here. It's <laughs> because it just drains down to there. I talked to Kara about how nice your beard is. Because it's it's one thing to have a beard, but your yours is so uniform. There's a you little know? patch right here. I don't see it though. Nobody sees it because I work very hard. I think that. Do you brush it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the trick. Oh, here's a story. Uh, we were talking to Robert, and I just, just I bought a new comb to brush it with, and I was doing it because I hadn't done it for a couple of days. Can I get those knots out? And and Robert's like, you brush your beard, and I'm like, yeah, sure. And he goes, let me see that. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> You're back and you go, tricks on him. You pull out a toothbrush and turn on. <laughs> Save time. <laughs> it's just stock beard images. <laughs> Google image search. The AV guy's like, fine, my time to shine. <laughs> I'm stuck over here playing these dumbasses. What booze are the prints available at? <laughs> Let us know so we can plug it. I'm gonna look up here to the net real quick. Should I uh, <laughs> go back to my chair? Or... Yeah. No? Okay. Sorry. Well, no, I just you mean it like that. Calm down. <laughs> what, just, what just happened? He goes, can I go back to my chair? I know, I didn't say can I, I said should I. Oh, oh, no, no. I just said, so should I be want. dismissed? No. Go, stay, it's up to you. you know, it's your show. show. You know what, you can go now. <laughs> you know what, you guys can go. You can go now. <laughs> Dismiss us very easily. No, I just this wasn't planned, and so now I feel weird. Like, I, am I part of the show? Like, are you I, gonna... I was gonna say if you wanted to, you go down and then just come back up whenever you want. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got something. I got something for this. Uh, what else do we have? How about this? Getting on the boat terrified me. Yeah, you seem a little scared. Well, it's on the water. Yeah, but it's not like a car, which the boat's off, but it still can move. That's, that's the whole water. It comes back to the water thing. Yeah. It changes the game. Yeah. And it's like, I don't trust anybody to hold those lines. That boat is going to, I'm going to do this comedy splits, and everybody's going to watch. <laughs> I almost did. Remember when I almost fell in? Yeah, you did almost fall into the water. I did almost fall in on the way off that thing. Who had you on the boat a couple of times? You seem to really enjoy it. Me? Yeah. I do. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't like getting on it and off it, <laughs> but once I'm on it, it's great. In it's fact, you were on the boat when I got pulled over by the boat police. By the nicest boat police oh. ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on the boat, and um, we were making fun of people getting pulled over. <laughs> That's not a joke. We, we were literally laughing. looking around going, the police check it. How do you get pulled over by the boat police? Yeah, and, then, and then Mike got pulled over by the boat police. This guy comes up on a little inflatable boat. And I was like, should I, do I pull over? I don't know, like, where do I go? There's nothing but more lake, because there's no curb. Yeah. And he's like, no, you need to stop here, and I'll tie up to you. And then, uh, and then we started drifting. It's like, I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Awkward interaction. Like, you have, give me the rest of the rope, and I'll throw, no, I'm going to give you a ticket in a second. Give me the rest of the rope. <laughs> but then he was just the nicest guy. He was. He said, you know why I pulled you over? And I honestly had no idea. And he said, uh, your tabs are expired. I said, boats have tabs? <laughs> can you show me where on a yeah, boat you go? Because <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but can you show me where on this boat there are tabs? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he was really cool yeah. about it. He showed me that they were right up front. 
And then he said, I'm not here to make a money, I'm not here to meet a quota. So if you can pass the safety inspection, we'll let you go. Yeah. And Mike's like, yeah, no problem. And then he says, is there a life vest on board for everyone of the appropriate size? <laughs> no, but I was like, yep. Because Angie went to some like big and tall catalog and found me a life vest for my size. Like I'm like, who knew they even made it for big guys? But she found it when she goes, if they ever ask us on the boat, we'll just bring it over. And we had left it on the boat. And I was like to the cop, don't worry. <laughs> and I brought it out, and I'm like, here you go. And he's like, wow. He was impressed. He was, he was impressed. impressed. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me see that. Fuck. <laughs> 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 and then he That's told why I pulled you over. And then he told Gabriel, like, if you keep your vest on, I'll give you coupons for free ice cream. Oh, you ain't telling me. Right? Like, what the fuck is this cop? <laughs> Because, you know, in the, the way the law works, if they're inside the boat, they don't have to have a life jacket on, right? It's only if they're out, like, in front of it or something. So it's all enclosed, and he doesn't have to have his life jacket on, but the cop said, if you put it on, you don't have to. If you put it on, I'll give you ice cream. So Gabe, obviously, uh, Gabe puts it on. And then we're, remember, we're driving back to the dock, and Gabe comes to me and goes, Daddy, do I still have to have my life jacket on? I go, no, son, you just put that on to get ice cream. Yeah. That's, and you're like, is that what you teach your son? You like to kind of co-parent. <laughs> you do. You're like, do you mind? Cause you'll come up to me. Go, do you mind if I discipline Gabe? Can I discipline him? No. Seems so genuine. Though. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that you, yeah, you take well, you take I mean, to it very just well. Just saying that you are a co-parent. I don't you have. Should move in with them. All right. Look, I I I don't have any kids of my own, and I won't. But I like parenting is fun with the kids are cool. <laughs> well, you should tell the fun Uncle Scott isn't so fun anymore story. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, first, let me say, the first time I tried to co-parent, Mike and his son teamed up on me. Because we were over at Mike and Kara's, and Gabriel's upstairs, and he's singing. And Kara goes, is he singing? He's not even sleeping. He's just up there singing to himself. And you guys would go, Gabriel. And then it would get quiet. And then he would start again. And then you'd be like, Gabe, and he'd stop. And then he'd start again. I go, Can I do it? And you go, Yeah, go ahead. So I go to the end of the stairs. I do my best impression of my father. And I go, Gabriel, stop it and go to sleep. And he goes, Meh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike at the table goes, <laughs> he's Here's him laughing, and now the two of them are just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they completely undermine my <laughs> But now, Gabriel's actually kind of getting to know me. And we're getting to be like, kind of friends. Like when we, we got off the boat, and they're, they're doing boat stuff, but we got off and I'm holding Noah, and we, we're walking back down the dock, and I'm like, what, where are they? And he goes, they stopped, and he's listening to his headphones, he's holding in, and I, and I go, where are they? And he goes, huh, where are they? And he goes, they're still doing stuff. And I go, all right, well, let's go to the bench, and we'll sit on the bench, and he goes, okay. And then we're on the bench, and I go, oh, I've got to pee so bad. Where are they, Gabriel? And he goes, I know. And then I go, oh, i got to pee so bad, Gabriel. And Gabriel goes, just wet your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. He goes, just go on the lake. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, just pee right here in the lake. Or I go, we're on the dock. I can't just pee in the lake. He goes, no one will see it. <laughs> it's the lake. It's just water. Your pee will just go in it. <laughs> no, and he goes, the birds and the fish pee in it. It's not going to hurt the lake. And I go, those people can see me. Those people can see me. He goes, just go in your pants. <laughs> and just wet your pants. He's trying to help you. Yeah, he was trying to help me. And he had learned all the music to Adele by downloading a video off of YouTube because it had the music lyrics on it. And he watched it over and over. And he figured that out on his own. And you had told me that story. That was when I learned that he discovered YouTube. And so they're like, you know, he wanted to learn the words, so he looked it up, and he, there was a video with the words, and he learned the words, and I, we were all really proud of him. So I brought it up so that he could tell me the story, and I could be proud of him too. And I go, so I hear you learn the words to Adele. And he goes, yeah, I found a video. And I go, wow, where did you find a video that had the words to the song on it? And he goes, 
YouTube, duh. <laughs> I mean, it went from me being proud of being like, oh, well, Scott's kind of an idiot. I don't know how to use YouTube. That's right. I had a story from the wedding that happened. You were walking with him, and we had like extra because they were blowing bubbles after the wedding. Oh yeah. And and uh, we had to. We didn't want them anymore. We like see the cable with them. And then we said, hey, you want these? And he's like, I got one. We said, well, no, just take two. I think he could use two more. And he looks at me and he goes. <laughs> I got one. Oh God, yeah. idiot! Then I turn and he goes, "Can you only get um, Dixit out of the game closet?" And I go, "Okay." And, and he goes, "Cause it's up really high." And I went, "All right." So I open up a closet in the hallway of Mike's house, and it's full of fucking full of games. Uh -huh. Like it's games from floor to ceiling, because he just loves games. Like and games. I go, "Whoa! Look at all these games!" And he goes, "Yeah." Now get Dixit and close my dad's game closet. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't want me in there. And I was like, oh, I take it easy, kiddo. <laughs> I'm hoping you get the game. But no, so Scott, Scott is fun Uncle Scott for the most part, right? And then all of a sudden, I set up a server for Gabe to play Minecraft with his little friend, right? And Karen and I are in there, and I know Scott likes Minecraft, so I say, listen, here's the server address if you want to come in. We're all playing in there. We're having a good time. Scott comes into the office one day, and he sits down next to me and goes, Listen, you know, my dad tells me, don't talk to somebody about their wife, and never tell them how to raise their kids. And I'm like, okay, well, he's going to do one of these two things. <laughs> I, I think that you need to talk to Gabe, because he's got a brand new lava fall, and I'm missing some lava. <laughs> <laughs> I logged in. And I was putting a lava fall in my house. And he goes, how did you do that in the game? And I said, you have to take a bucket and get lava. He says, try it, it doesn't work. I said, yeah, it's not like water, though. You have to go to this cube that starts the lava. And he goes, oh. And I go, so you, the problem is you have to get lava from somewhere. Like you have to go find lava. And, he, and, then, and then it's not where you, you, you take it. Like, then you've taken lava from someplace else. And he goes, OK. And then I logged out. The next time I log in, my lava's gone, and his house has a new lava <laughs> And so I said, Gabriel, little man, where is my lava? And you said, in time, you're typing, I, we're, we've talked to him, he's putting it back. And then all of a sudden, my house just goes, <laughs> like lava comes back. But then, Gabe was like, I said, I, I like to get lost. I like to go in one direction, get lost, and find something cool, and then build there. And he's like, I want to come with you, so we'll walk. He's like, let's go back. I go, no, you have to keep going until you're like, I will never get home. And then you find something cool. And we did. We found this endless mine. And I said, all right, this is our mine now. You can mine all you want. And so, but then I started to build a house on top of it. And I come in one day, and, and he has wrecked my house. He's wrecked it. He's adding shit. He's built, and I'm in there, and I'm like... Gabriel, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm on one side of the house, painstakingly building it, and I come around the other end, and in 20 seconds, there's just a big <laughs> tower, and lava is coming down the <laughs> of my house, and, and every wooden brick is going <laughs> <laughs> And I go, Gabriel, stop it, stop it! And all I see is, okay! <laughs> And I'm like, now he's sassing me. <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I can play. Like, he's a kid, he doesn't understand, but maybe I should tell my So and often I go. So he comes in to tell me this, and this isn't like the first time. Obviously, we've had to have probably three conversations with Gabe because this is the first time he's ever played a multiplayer game. And the concept of, first of all, for a kid, the concept of real items belonging to someone else is tough to teach, right? Like, don't take that from him. That is his. The idea of teaching that virtual items <laughs> belong to someone is even harder, right? So this is the this is like the third time I've heard this, and so I said, "All right, Scott, you know what? I'm going to call him right now. Where I'm going to have a talk with him." And you go, "Oh." <laughs> and so I call Kara, and I tell her exactly what happened. I say he needs to stop playing Minecraft. He's getting cut off for the day, right? Yeah, and he goes, "Oh no, hold on a second. I need to take care of this." And Jerry goes, "You monster." And I go, well, I don't want that to happen. And he goes, no, this is the third time, and this is what happens. This is how you parent. After they do it three times, you punish them. Hey, honey, it's me. Look, um, Mike, or uh, Gabriel's in the Minecraft. He's schooling with Scott's house. I think he's done with Minecraft for the day. Yeah. Yeah, he makes me parent. Right. And then all of a sudden he goes, he's crying. Okay, he's crying. Scott's <laughs> <laughs> face is just... <gasps> Made him cry. Made him cry. And now, Kara, being a mom, I can hear her going, did he 
tell him not to screw with the house? Did he tell him that that's his house? And Mike's like, I don't know. I don't know if he told Gabriel specifically that was his house. And I'm like, this is getting really complicated. <laughs> Why am I being drug into this? Why am I having to defend myself? <laughs> and so I go back to my office. I go hide in my office. And the, it's Kara calls me. I'm like, oh, shit. So my phone says Kara. I'm like, oh, shit. And he goes, she goes, your Gabe wants to say something to you. And she made him apologize to me. Oh. oh. I remember being the kid that had to apologize to what, an adult. What was the tone of his voice? What did he sound like? Oh, he sounded broken. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, oh, man. it was like this. She goes, all right, tell him you're sorry. All right, here's the phone. Sorry. And I go, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> So I went up to the sixth floor and I was like, Jesus, are you selling those picks? I want to get a, you know, they have, I think you can have those yeah, full yeah, picks yeah. and I ain't selling shit. There's no Minecraft, anything. I was going to give him a pick. Yeah. So but then you went home and told Angie, right? She's like, well, I guess your fun Uncle Scott isn't so fun anymore. <laughs> That's what, yeah. yeah. I called Angie and Angie goes, I guess fun Uncle Scott isn't so fun anymore. Mm. Grew up a little bit then. <laughs> yeah. And we all did. <laughs> we all did something. We all did. <laughs> a little bit. But don't worry, he'll make me mad again soon. <laughs> and each time it's getting a little easier for you to bring the hammer down. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Now I'm worried about it. Do you not want me to be Uncle Scott to him? No, I mean, for my part... This uh, sounds so tragic. <laughs> I am super uh, happy to have him surrounded by such incredible people. Oh. No, I, mean, I didn't mean to turn it in that direction, but like <laughs> the idea that you you guys would have an influence on him, I'm, that makes me really happy. Because most of the time the influence is poop jokes. <laughs> I mean, joke. I'm fine. Like you, I know you were, really you were helping him learn jokes. That's true. Oh, he's so good at it. He is so good at for the. This is oh man. If this is what it feels like to be a parent, and I know there's bad parts, and I don't, I'm, I'm going to skip all that. I just to show <laughs> We actually, we've gone straight from parent to grandparent, right? We're hitting all the good parts, and it's like, all right, they're home. Back to our house, where it's nothing but yeah. food channel and sit around and we're fucking whatever we want. Let's go see a movie if we want. And then really we what want. it's like at your house? Huh? All the time. Yeah. You ever stay over there? Every time. <laughs> At my place, no kids, right? Every TV food channel, barely in any clothes, and sometimes we just wake up and we've been fucking. <laughs> we don't even know it. And I, and, and like, like I'll be like, oh hi, and she's like, that was great. And I'm like, oh, we just fucked. She's like, eh. like no kids. Cool. We do whatever we want. Sounds like Narnia. <laughs> more than being able to fuck whenever you want. One time I called Angie and I go, do you want to see a movie tonight? And she goes, yeah, well, what do you want me to see? And because the movie times didn't line up exactly right, we decided, ah, fuck, we can see a movie anytime. I just went home instead. Doesn't that piss you off? Yes. <laughs> wow. Not yes. that we saw it, that we opted, eh, we can see it. That's what Karen and I always choice. have this conversation, because we, you know, we hang out with uh, you know, Kiko and Bizzell, all these single people, right? And I'm like, why don't you go see, uh, you know, Captain America? No, I didn't feel like going to see it tonight. Why the fuck not? What else do you have to do? Yeah. Nothing. We have children. We can't go see movies. But your kids know just how to affirm me. Like they know how to get straight to my heart. Like remember when I, you had Noah at the office, and I go, give me your baby. Oh yeah, you're like, do the do the girls know that Noah's here? I'm like, no, I don't think they know the baby's here. Can I use your baby to pick up the uh, the girls to impress and me? <laughs> I went straight to Jamie's office. Cute redhead with a baby. <laughs> and I just go, I got a baby. And she goes, ooh. And if you hold the baby close enough to you, it feels like she's making that face for you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, yeah. you just start to remove the baby. baby. <laughs> then, so I get that really ex pretty Jamie face excited to see me, but really the baby, but it feels like me. Then she takes the baby, and Noah looks at me and goes, and I go, you, you want me? She goes, yes, he wants you. And I grab him, he takes his head and just goes, and hugs me tight. And I was like, oh, he calls me. And then I ran back to you. 
told you right away. But then what Gabriel did is Gabriel showed me toddlers in tears and watched that at your house. Oh, God. No, exactly. Wait, hold on. This is a good setup for me. What is that show? What? No. It's a show about pageant moms. Oh, pageant moms. And they dress up their little kids to look like Toddlers? Yes. Like three to five. Oh, yeah. Makeup. Oh, yeah. And the moms Carol, on the sideline going, stick out your tits, stick out your tits. And the girl's like two. <laughs> it's awful. And they have these crowns. <laughs> I remember telling Mike and Karen the story later, so because they weren't there. What was the situation that I had the conversation with Gabe? We were babysitting. We were talking. We were telling Brian. Gabe and I were telling Brian about Tyler's and Tierra's. And, and, and he goes, they're the worst. They don't care if their kids cry. And I go, yeah, it's awful. All because they want a crown. And Gabe goes, yeah, it's, a, it's just a stupid crown. I go, you could go buy it. Just go buy the crown. They make them somewhere. <laughs> just get a crown that says... You know, I hate my kid. And Gabe goes, no, no. Gabe said, the crown says worst mom. And I go, yeah, the heart on it. He goes, yeah, but the heart's broken and there's lines coming out of it. And I was like, oh. I, I genuinely was so excited. He was doing a, like a joke. A bit. He was building a joke. Oh. oh. That's what I'm saying. Like having you guys around, I think, is great for oh, him. Oh, it's so awesome. And soon he'll grow up and not give a shit about that I'm there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be like, I don't want to hang around with my dad. He family. also introduced you to Adventure Time that you'd never seen. <laughs> and I got to reverse the joke. Because I came over to your house afterwards, and, and as soon as he walked the door, I went, I'm a buff baby that can dance like a man. I can shake on my booty. I can shake on my can. I'm a tough tooth baby, and I punch on your buns. I punch on your buns. I can punch on your buns. If you're an evil witch, then I punch you for fun. And he goes, how did you learn that? And I go, you too. <laughs> Yeah, you've you're, been you're keeping me from the yeah. slap. <laughs> I'm Which I really want to see. Stick around. Uh, oh God, what else? No, because I was. I'll let you tell the story. I was there for the, the first part of it. For what part? Well, we'll first... we've got it better than just telling. Oh, okay. We can, we can right. show it. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>